Hi, it's Meryl Key from My Mystery School. Mercury is retrograde from October 14 through to November the 3rd. And we're already in Mercury's shadow when things are starting to get a bit loose and wobbly. And then once Mercury appears to stop still in the sky, the energies really go a bit loose. As you know, Mercury retrograde means back up your computer, get your car serviced, double check the fine print and expect the usual delays. But this Mercury retrograde is going to be hooked up with Uranus. And that means there's a lot of unpredictable electrical energy going on. So that could affect your nervous system, your computer, the internet, social media, or even your own thought processes and the ability to glean and grasp new ideas, new innovations. We've also got some Mars-Pluto action going on during this Mercury phase. And that means a bit of bickering, confusion, words and actions not matching up, or frustrations really getting hot under the collar. Do your best to channel the energy. Take time out, calm your nervous system down. Mercury retrograde uncovers the secrets that have been hidden, but also makes things disappear. So you can prepare yourself by being patient, being organized and being clear. Here's Mercury retrograde through the signs. Aries, you're involved in arguments about work and being recognised for the work you do. There's confusion around what others promised, an agreement or a contract that seemed so clear now has a big question mark around it. There's not much room for negotiation here. It could be a budget blowout, or you want to call others to account, but hard evidence needs to come forward. Aries born in the middle of the month, that is 14 to 16th of April, this Mercury retrograde time is really good for negotiations around money and resources and could bring an unusual solution, but you might have to make a stand. Taurus, your Mercury retrograde could have you ducking for cover. You might be getting the wrong end of the stick or getting frustrated with a difference of opinion, a clash of beliefs or something physically blocking your path. There's not a lot you're saying, but when you do, it might come out more cutting than you intended. Keep your cool, Taurus. Rise above and don't take the bait, especially those born at the beginning of May. Gemini, your Mercury retrograde is messing up your schedules, creating double bookings and cancellations. You've also got a hit with computers, the internet and social media being less than reliable and creating some anxiety. There might even be a few health issues prickling up, but this is a spectacular three weeks to do a detox. Clean out your cupboards and organize your filing, including your digital filing. Don't press delete until you've double checked everything. Cancerians are ready to pick up a connection from the past and give it another go. Your Mercury retrograde phase sees adjustments in the workplace and in key relationships that allows a bit more space or a chance to reveal another level. You're drawn to face the truth about certain relationships or groups and how much you really want to commit. Go back over your journals and emails and you'll get a clear picture of where you are now and where you want to be in the future. Leos, you're looking to end a project, a habit or a routine once and for all and your Mercury retrograde phase helps you prepare an alternative route. The needs of family and home come first, but you want a bit more recognition and a break. You're ready for something a bit radical and different and may find yourself unintentionally in the spotlight. Take it with good grace, Leo, and don't allow pride to get in the way at laughing at yourself. Virgos, you can use these three weeks to prepare and organize the details, something you love to do anyway. If you're planning study or travel, this is a great time to do your research, follow a lead or contact someone on a hunch. You should know the drill by now. Back up your computer, expect delays, carry a phone charger, but also focus your mind. You could be a bit scatty and accident prone in this phase. Libra, you might need the patron saint of lost things on your side until November 
because Mercury is putting a cloud over your resources and could somehow work in your favour. Check the fine print, make inquiries, and you could get a surprise or a negotiation that supports and feeds back into home and family. Librans born around the 18th to the 21st of October. Have patience with this one. What needs to be discovered will come in its own time. Scorpio, you might be wading through a fog over the next three weeks, so it's best to reserve judgment, wear a mask, literally as well as figuratively, and do your own thing. Relationships are confusing, a work issue is going around in circles, and you risk saying more than you mean. If you feel strongly about something, hold your principles firm, but keep counsel to yourself. The less said, the better. Scorpios born at the beginning of November have psychic senses fully open and will get more truth listening to their inner voice than the soundtrack going on around them. Sag, you want a break free. And this retro phase is the time and place to do the inner work and reflection to find freedom within yourself. You are the only one holding you back and a work or a health issue has revealed a pattern you're ready to break. You've had a tough time financially during the 2020 Pluto, Saturn and Jupiter shakeups, but now you know how to regenerate and how to do that with strength, how to pace yourself. Take some time out and retreat to the cave where you can. Capricorns, you're getting some ideas and solutions that border on left field brilliance. Something that's been dragging out for a while is getting a burst of activity and insight and it's changing your perspective and attitudes. Use this Mercury retrograde to implement a new way of thinking and communicating. You've been taking out your frustrations at home and your energy has been low, but there's a new cycle opening up. Aquarians, you are used to doing things differently, but you might be accidentally revealing your feelings, secrets and vulnerabilities during this Mercury retro phase before you realise what's happened. You're channeling home truths at the moment and there's a subconscious prod from Pluto to release suppressed emotion. I'm going to call it clearing the air. Expect the usual delays and miscommunication, but watch for any power play behind it. Mercury retrograde for the fish has you dreaming big plans and gathering the pieces to bring it together. Pisces, you can be adaptable and resourceful at the best of times, but any surprise connections or new info can be used to your advantage and help you to attain your goal. Despite some hold-ups or hiccups getting your finances flowing, use these delays over the next three weeks to fine-tune your action plan. Don't give up on the vision. I'm Meryl Key and this is my Mystery School. If you'd like a consultation, contact me at www.merylkey.com or if you'd like to learn Mystery School topics and tarot, check me out, My Mystery School at Teachable.